welcome back. You're watching Meet the Diplomat. Let's talk a little on bilateral trade and economy that uh, is there between India and Mauritius. If you talk of the comprehensive economic cooperation and partnership agreement that's to be signed to bring up a framework for uh, more cooperation and partnership, uh, what are your arguments on this agreement? Well, this is a very important agreement between the two countries. And uh, the idea was initiated by both the Prime Ministers, the Prime Minister of Mauritius, Dr. Navin Chand Ramgulam, and your Prime Minister, Dr. Man, Mr. Manmohan Singh Ji. And uh, ever since work has started, it was last year, we have had many rounds of talks, and we have almost reached the final round now. The last uh, would be the signature ceremony between the two countries by both the Prime Ministers. We have really progressed a lot and uh, I'll say now uh, the SECPA is on overdrive which means it's all done and soon we'll have the results of SECPA. Now uh, there has been prior to that or before the SECPA coming in we have had so many exchanges, economic and trade exchanges which already exist which people have done freely, but I'm sure this agreement will uh, bring further uh, economic exchanges and cultural and uh, of course trade exchanges between the two countries. And uh, one thing that is already agreed upon uh, information that we have is that uh, we'll have some Mauritian products coming towards India uh, in the near future. One is the Mauritian rum, which is very much appreciated. We have, uh, the agreement is that we'll have 150,000 liters of Mauritian rum coming towards India. Mm -hmm. And you, on your, at your side, you'll be sending your uh, Indian wine in bulk to Mauritius for uh, the Mauritian market. And we have still got so many uh, goods in being produced in Mauritius that will definitely... But isn't it true? Uh, this was to promote investment and trade in goods and services, right? But uh, that has hit, this uh, agreement has hit a roadblock. Isn't it true? No, there is no roadblock. Actually, it's not only trade in goods and, in, and services. There are so many other services as well. Infrastructure, ICT, uh, food, uh, seafood products. Doubts over DTAT, right? Oh, that's another, yeah, yeah, that's another issue. That's yeah. another issue. And it's true, there has been uh, a lot of talks about the DTA uh, agreement. But it's good that I point out here. The DTA between Mauritius and India was signed in 1982. Right. And since 82, Mauritius has got a reputation of being one of the best ways of doing business through Mauritius. And it's not only with India that we do that. We have DTA signed with so many countries and the world over because of the reputation that Mauritius enjoys, we're having so many business people who do business through Mauritius. But as a few conditions that India said should be included, like only those companies should participate where they have worked uh, in Mauritius for a certain period of time and they've invested a certain amount and they've been listed in the local stock exchange. Yeah. Let, me, let me bring some precision there. On the Mauritian side and on the Indian side, nothing will be done to harm each other's economy. That is for sure. But definitely, when the request is coming from the Indian side, from our side, we are having revenue people and people from the Indian side who have set up a committee where there is a joint working group, they are working, they are trying to find out where the problem actually is and to find out solutions. And definitely from our side, it's good that I point out whatever changes we have to bring about in our legislation, so in our certain amendments that we have to bring about, we'll definitely sit together with India and find out a solution to that. Right. We were talking about Open Sky Scheme. It's to boost the economy between the two nations and India could use the Mauritian Air Strip uh, as the gateway to move ahead to, for the onward journey. Uh, what are your views basically on this? Yeah, definitely. See, Mauritius geographically is positioned in such a manner that India, Southeast Asia, Australia for that matter, they all have to go through Mauritius in order to reach the big 
giant continent, which is Africa. Right. So Mauritius will definitely geographically be the gateway to all those accesses to all those destinations in Africa. Mm -hmm. And we are focusing more on the triangular sort of business between, mm -hmm. the, between India, Southeast Asia, Australia, and Africa. And here I'd like to point out that uh, we have many Indians already using Mauritius as their headquarters, their center, to do business in Africa. And Mauritius is providing further initiatives through the Board of Investment, through the uh, activities that we hold there, to allow Indians and others, of course, to use Mauritius as a gateway to get into Africa because Africa has the potential and Mauritius has already signed agreements with Africa, with uh, right. the SADC countries, with the Comesa countries. We also have agreements uh, with US, UK, Europe, which will allow us definitely to be a very important point for uh, any business partner from India to do business with the other continents. Textile, telecommunication, computer and uh, high sensing technology, these are the few areas where India has shared its experience with Mauritius. What more do you look uh, for from India? So now we'll focus more on entertainment, media and infocoms, mm -hmm. more focus on the seafood hub because we are having some clusters now. Entertainment, entertainment media and, uh, and infocoms is one. Uh, Seafood hub. Have we started and to move in this direction? Have Definitely. You had we, talk? Already, we have already talked. We have had some meetings. And uh, some Indian companies have already gone to Mauritius. Mm -hmm. The president of India mentioned it in, uh, when he visited Mauritius for our Independence Day. Mm -hmm. And definitely there are more avenues where Indians are willing to tap, which uh, they will use uh, Mauritius as the, uh, as the hub, as the center to do business. Mm -hmm. Education hub, knowledge hub, uh, hospitality, uh, industry and property development, which is again something emerging where hotels can be built. Mm -hmm. We have schemes right now for Indians to come and even buy villas there, mm -hmm. settle there in Mauritius. Okay. We have other schemes if you're an Indian professional and you want to go down to Mauritius in an emerging sector, in a sector where we want some resources, right. even that is possible, an Indian professional can come and settle in Mauritius. Now, over and above that, to get the business climate more friendly, we have introduced, that is something very new, a new visa regime, mm -hmm. which allows any Indian to go to Mauritius and on arrival get, get a visa for 60 days, two-month visa. More to talk, but uh, we'll go again for a short break. Keep watching with The Diplomat.